Hi friends, today we are going to explain about hemodialysis machine. First, we are going to tell you about a brief history of dialysis. The history of dialysis dates back to 1940s. The first type of dialyzer was built in 1943 by Dutch physician William Kolf. Kolf had first gotten the idea of developing a machine to clean the blood. After watching a patient suffer from kidney failure, dialysis machine a machine used in dialysis that filters a patient's blood to remove excess water and waste products when the kidneys are damaged dysfunctional or missing the dialysis machine itself can be thought of as an artificial kidney inside it consists of a plastic tubing that carries the removal blood to the dialyzer a bundle of hollow fibers that forms a semi permeable membrane for filtering out impurities in the dialyzer blood is diffused with a saline solution called dialysate the dialysate is in turn diffused with blood when the filtration process is complete the clean blood is returned to the patient most patients who undergo dialysis because of kidney impairment or failure use the dialysis machine at a dialysis clinics the dialysis machine can be used chronically at home for dialysis which eliminates the need for regular hemodialysis clinics using the machine during the day and frequently during sleep the patient can control his her own dialysis in this part we are going to learn about working of hemodialysis machine when person's kidney can no longer remove waste and extra fluid from their body Hemodialysis is a treatment used which clean the blood and remove the extra fluid. The blood came out of the body and passes through the dialyzer which is called as artificial kidney and came back to the body. During this process any mechanical contact to the blood is avoided. Two tubes are connected via your hemoglobin axis. Blood flow from your body into the machine through one of the tube which connect to the veins. If your doctor prescribe blood thinner as a part of your treatment it will be added to keep your blood from floating while it is in the machine a pressure monitor and pump work together to keep the flow at right rate your blood enter the dialyzer where it is filtered using the fluid dialysate dialysate is a fluid that is made up of water electrolyte and salt during dialysis dialysate help to clean your body inside the dialyzer by removing waste product and balancing electrolyte The core of dialyzer is made up of thousand of tiny mesh tube. Blood flow inside the tube and the dialysis stay outside the tube. Tiny pore in the tube let the waste and excess fluid pass from your blood into the dialysis. After leaving the dialyzer, your blood goes to another pressure monitor and air tap to make sure it's safe to go back in your body. During your dialysis session detailed information will be shown on machine monitor screen every function will be monitored including the pump speed blood pressure and dialysis temperature every check is designed to make sure your dialysis session is safe and effective an alert will be sound if anything needs attention an alert may simply means the machine need to be checked or something need to be adjusted In this part we are going to talk about advantages of hemodialysis. Hemodialysis is done three times a week leaving rest of the week free. It has a low risk of infection in the body. The risk complications of hemodialysis are reduced with the help of AV fistulas. So what are AV fistulas? It is a process in which a small cut is made in the body and two small tubes are inserted one connected with the artery and one with the vein. It has a very minimum rate of technical failure. Close monitoring of patient is possible when the patient is present in clinic. Death rate has been greatly reduced due to hemodialysis and better control of blood pressure is achieved. There is less restriction on normal diet due to hemodialysis. Now we are going to talk about disadvantages of hemodialysis the cost of the machine is initially very high the person need to spend high amount of money for each dialysis treatment 
expert people are required to handle the machine and no normal person can handle it. A person needs to travel to the clinic for the dialysis treatment. The procedure is complicated and needs intensive care. The person needs to adjust the schedule as per the requirement of the dialysis. Thank you.